and Governor Newsom talk about COVID variants showing up here in California. In fact, on Wednesday, he announced that a new strain has been detected in two Northern California counties. Some of you have asked us, what does that mean? Well, as we look to answer your COVID questions in our series, The Rollout, ABC 10 News reporter Jared Aarons explains what each variant is and why tracking all of them is important. According to the CDC, there are three main variants to COVID-19 in the United States. B117, the UK variant, B1351, the South African variant, and P1, the Brazilian variant. Variants show up when a disease has a chance to mutate inside someone's body. It doesn't happen very often, but as the world nears 108 million cases of COVID-19, that's 108 million chances for the virus to mutate. It's just evolution. Dr. William Lee from Helix Labs explains most variants are harmless, benign. Scientists track them mainly to see how a disease progresses, but some become more dangerous. The reason why I think people are talking a lot about these more recent ones is because there is uh, reason to believe that that these do um, have a clinical impact or potentially you know, a public health impact. Data released Tuesday by the CDC shows there are 932 cases of the UK variant in the United States, nine cases of the South African, and three of the Brazilian. Helix, along with Scripps Research, Illumina, and several other labs, released this paper Monday about the UK variant. They found it's 35 to 45 percent more contagious than the common COVID strain and suggests cases in the U.S. could double every 10 days. Other research from the UK says it may be more deadly but that hasn't been confirmed. The paper says the UK variant may become the country's dominant strain by mid-March. Given how exponential curves work, at some point, B117 becomes the majority, and then it's possible that the overall case rates will no longer start going down. Because cases of the South African and Brazilian variants are so sparse and so new, not a lot is known about them. South African officials announced that their variant does not respond to the AstraZeneca vaccine and stopped using those shots. The CDC says the Moderna vaccine could also be less effective against the South African variant, but more research is needed. The P1 Brazilian variant has 17 different mutations. Early studies say those mutations make it harder for antibodies to fight the disease. But again, it's too soon to know for sure. Now that they're in the U.S., the challenge becomes tracking them all. If you're not tracking exactly what's going on, you might start to see infections rise, but you wouldn't know why. Right. Alex Dickinson is the chairman of San Diego based Chroma Code. His company is developing a rapid test that would not only identify COVID, but also find out what variant a person has. They still need FDA approval, but Dickinson says it could help with diagnosis and pairing the right treatment and vaccines to the right variant. If you're not looking at that evolution, you can't ensure um, that the vaccines and the other treatments are keeping up. Researchers say until we know more about these variants, our best shot at fighting them is the same thing we've always been doing. Masks, social distancing, hand washing, and now vaccines. They say keeping case numbers down decreases the chances for more mutations and increases our chance to beat the virus. Jared Ahrens, ABC 10 News. Now, as we reported earlier this week, right now the U.S. only does genomic testing to identify variants on about 5,000 COVID positive tests each week. Compare that to the U.K., which does about 12,000 tests. Now, if you have a question on the vaccine or the virus and you'd like us to answer that for you as part of the rollout series, send us an email. There's the address, tips at 10news.com.